All right, duffel bags and single bag travel, two of the main topics for today. I've done previous videos on the kit bag from GORUCK and this 1733 duffel and X11. Both have fantastic features. Now they have some internal pockets and it's a big open bag. You really have no way to put them on your back. Uh, these straps wouldn't work. They have a shoulder strap you could put with the kit bag. This one comes with the shoulder strap uh, and you could use these handles in a backpack mode. Those would be very, very uncomfortable. But today, we're gonna go a different direction. The Dex. This is the Black Ember Kickstarter Dex. Uh, I supported this on Kickstarter a couple months ago. It finally arrived, so we're gonna unpack it. Actually, first of all, it's totally packed in single bag travel, something I don't do a lot of times. Normally I'm in a backpack and then a duffel or some other kit bag as the accessory bag. But today I got this thing all packed out. I was already packed up for a trip in another bag. I put all this stuff in this one just to see how it would work. It works awesome. Anyway, let's get to the decks from Black Ember. All right, so the Dex, and this is the 30 liter Dex. They come out with a 45 and a 30. Uh, they also have this boarding kit. More about that here later because it's already packed. But anyway, this thing is a fantastic duffel bag. It's kind of sitting kind of wonky because of the shoulder straps that are included that are in the back. So that's where this one excels. And again, I'll get these out, put them on and show you a little bit how that looks. But the fact that this guy has shoulder straps. Now I'm not talking about, in some of the bags I've looked at in the past have thinner, not very comfortable shoulder straps. These are beefy, uh, padded, well-designed, and they're, you know, again, they're inside that kind of makes this thing a little bit un, um, unwieldy. It doesn't sit exactly flat, but we'll get them out and we'll put them on. Uh, and I did this earlier a lot yesterday and it's just super comfortable. You could wear this thing all day. Where this design excels, as you get to your destination, let's say you're flying to Europe and you can't check into your hotel too much later. It's early in the morning. What are you gonna do? You wanna go and you wanna explore. You don't wanna be carrying something in your hand. You don't wanna even put it really on your shoulder. But this thing works as a backpack. Boom, now you're on your back and you're all around town looking at stuff, uh, seeing the sights. And then when you check in your hotel, you're ready to go. So this thing is super cool. Love the way that it's designed. I think 30 liters for me is probably the perfect size. Uh, I don't know that I would go all the way up in a 45 liter size. The design features are very, very awesome. Lots of pockets, lots of way to pack this thing out. Inside it can be a little awkward, more about that when we look at the inside, but the outside features, top notch materials. We got ballistic on the bottom, 1000D mix and 500D in places. So you really got everything you needed to make this thing totally durable. It's waterproof, aqua guard, zippers everywhere. It's just a fantastic design. Now. One thing that I added to this that's not stock is these Fidlock V-buckles. There was a Fidlock V-buckle option, and of course, I added that to my kit because they look awesome. These are orange, so a little bit of an accent, a little breaks it up, it's super cool, love it. Now, how do we carry this thing around when it's fully loaded? Well, we've got this top handle, which is awesome. It's totally removable, little clips attached to the Hypalon, attachments which were everywhere so you got this top pocket super wide comfortable and you know removable if that's what you wanted to do they also have these other straps which are dual purpose now they have another layer of hypalon underneath and so when you grab under both these are just as you see very very small and attached however if you wanted to just carry it from this angle now you have a different set of handles to go with and you just you know take them out of this little notch and they go right back in to where they to whilst they came uh, inside the bag in totally low profile so i do love that design that's super cool brought me uh into it now you can also get an attachment which i did not buy is if you remove both of these and this one on this side the bottom is just a G hook. The top is Fidlock. Again, you know, you put a lot of Fidlock in your design, you're probably gonna get my attention. Now this thing 
can be worn over the shoulder like a traditional duffel. They carry or they sell a attachment where it attaches on the G hook on one side and fid locks on the other. And now you're about town. I didn't get that. Um, I might get it. We'll see. Uh, it depends on how much I love this bag. Now, other than that, those are the ways to carry it. Now, let's, because I've talked about it, let's just get into it here. Let's talk about the bottom of the bag in terms of what's there besides its straps. Now, this is the back, and it's got a luggage pass-through, which is just some webbing, which is cool. I don't like the stretchy ones, because I just would, I think, break over time. This one, fit over the top of your roller board, through there, and you're good to go. A uh, little G-hook on the top of this. Let's get that thing off. And out come these very, uh, and it's kind of tight in there because I got this thing totally packed out. Um, otherwise, it's a little bit easier. Got a lot of things under tension in here. Um, but anyway, super strong, super comfortable. And they connect right down here on the bottom with some spring-loaded G-hooks. So there you go. So spring-loaded G-hooks. We've got this, uh, you know, another bid lock magnetic buckle, which some people aren't a big fan of. I'm fine with um, most of the time. Uh, and so this is, they get super strong, super comfortable straps, way comfortable. Uh, again, you could wear this thing all day. The shape of these is just fantastic. A lot of reasons to love this because again, you get to your destination, you wanna wear this thing, you want it to be comfortable as you go around town. So this is super nice, adjustable sternum strap. You take it out of these little T hook things, you move them up or down. You got four choices, super awesome, hypo on everywhere and strap keepers down below. So just, again, ways to keep this thing under control when you're using it. Now, before we get into the pockets on the outside and the layout, let's take a look at what I have attached to it. Now, these little attachment points are everywhere. Now, these Fidlock V-buckle accessories that you would have to add to your order, uh, fit in here quite nicely for me like I said it breaks it up but you can also carry additional things maybe throw in a jacket on one side and this way you've got the peak design tripod on this side just barely fits super cool uh, so you're gonna be on the move and you have the ability to do that otherwise if you don't have anything in there you can use this as compression straps to hold this thing down if it's not fully loaded probably more useful on the 45 liter I would guess but this 30 liter size man it fills up quickly as you're packing it out. Let's get this tripod out and start looking at what's in this design. Now on the outside, we have basically three, five. We have five exterior pockets besides getting into the main compartment. So in the sides, we have these uh, Hypalon, which is, you know, you can uh, lock these just to make them a little more theft deterrent, a little kind of zipper garages in there, um, which are also very cool. Um, I like those. Everything's, like I said, aqua guard. So you've got lots and lots of room. Now, in the side pocket here, I've got in this side, actually, let's go to this side. In this side, uh, I've got just packed out with a cap one from Evergoods. This is the charging solution. So I have everything in here to charge wherever I am worldwide, uh, any outlets, and I have it all packed into one. So I just like the fact that I can put this in there and I can open it up, go to work, pack, pack that thing in there. So I just like that. Now inside this pocket, you have two admin pockets and this kind of goes up a little bit. It's kind of nice, nice big sizable pocket. Put stuff in there to be organized or just put something big. It's got the ripstop nylon on the inside. See, this is very nice and it fit the cap one without any problem with this to thing totally decked out. But on the other side, we have, again, my around town solution because I'm not gonna carry this thing around town once the hotel's open. I've got the Good Works boogie bag because this is how I'm gonna carry the camera gear and anything else as I'm around town. And that fits in this side, again, pretty much identical um, with the a, a little admin, uh, you know, two little pockets in there divided in the middle, but they also give you this key loop, which is magnetic. So you just peel this thing away, put your keys on here for whatever it is, and then magnetically attached, and there you go. Only on one side, nice little touch of orange, super cool. 
But anyway, that's the inside of both side pockets. So two side pockets. Now there's a top and a bottom pocket. Um, before I do that, let's talk about the bottom in terms of accessing your laptop. Because who doesn't want to access their laptop? One zipper on this side that serves two purposes. It gets you into this laptop sleeve on the back, but it also gets you into the main compartment of the bag. So if you have some stuff at the bottom of this that you wanted to access or you know, maybe put in a packable jacket on the side, you can quickly just get into it without having to get into the main compartment, which requires a little bit more work. So there you go. Now I'm into the main compartment of the bag and I'm into the back sleeve. This carries up to a 16 inch laptop according to their website, but also carries, uh, in this case, my 12.9 inch um, iPad Pro, plenty of room to grow in that thing. So, and it is padded. So it's nice and it's on the back. Now in backpack mode, super nice, super flat. And again, it's protected, it's in the back. One thing that I would caution you with though, is when you have these things, these straps kind of tucked in there, the bottom's kind of a little wonky and I would maybe, it's just a little, it's just not completely flat. So if I would sit it down, um, you know, just be careful about that. The other thing I don't like about that just overall is the fact that my laptop, my ex most expensive piece of equipment in this bag uh, is at the bottom. And so it might, it's what's you're setting the bag down, everything inside. So just think about that. If you're gonna pack this thing out, your laptop is on the bottom of the bag as you lug it and set it down in this mode. Just something to consider. Now that's the bottom entry, and we talked about the sides. Let's talk about you know the top and the bottom of the bag, um, if you will. Now the bottom of the bag, which is this, the top, the bottom of the bag, again secured by a G hook, is got a pocket in it. Both sides have a pocket. In this side is a shoe pocket. Now you can access or put in a, you know, a wet, dirty pair of shoes that you take with you. In this case, I just bought my Lems Trailheads. These are the Huckberry color. I put those in there just to kind of give you a little perspective. Now you can put some bigger shoes in there, as you see, um, and I have them kind of pushed to the side because having the shoes in there, the way this, this is designed, and again, you, I can totally put them sideways as well. That's probably a better way to do it, maybe stacked on top because it just it impacts the space inside the bag, obviously. So just think about that. That's the only thing to consider. Uh, you have a nice, you know, put shoelaces in there or maybe a pair of socks on this side. Anything that you're worried about getting um, dirty or wet, put it in here uh, and don't worry about it because it's all segmented from the rest of the bag. So I like that feature, totally, totally cool. On this side of the bag, let's talk about what's inside here. Again, bit luck on this end, which is super cool. Love that. Wish it was kind of on the back side too. But inside here is the boarding kit. This is the boarding kit mini with the 30 liters. The 45 liter has a standard edition. Uh, the only real difference between the two is what size iPad. This one will carry an iPad mini. I'm gonna deck, I'm gonna rip this thing out and go through it at the end. But the other one fills, takes a, like a regular size iPad, not the 12.9 inch, but the regular size iPad. Also in this pocket is a little bit of a segmented uh, storage. You've got one flap in the back and then you've got a stretch meshy pocket uh, to put some other stuff, some charging things that maybe wouldn't be in here. And so again, we'll get that out in a little bit. I want it in there um, as we dive into the main compartment just to see how that impacts everything else. So, so here we are. We've talked about everything on the outside. And so now it's time to dive into the main event. All right. So here we are. Again, AquaGuard zippers, super awesome. And this thing allows the way that the way this is designed just allows it to open up a little wider. So, you know, one of my headaches with the kit bag is just one slit and you're just kind of fighting to get in it. This one is not that way because it just opens a lot wider just the, the way this is designed. So I, I totally like that for that reason. The second reason it allows you to kind of overpack it and then use these to kind of clamp it all down and compress the space. And then you can use the compression strap. So I love the way this is designed and felt. It's really, um, it does appeal to me hugely in terms of travel. Now, 
What's in here? We got a field pocket. This is my camera gear for the trip. So this is everything that's camera focused. Everything in that. And then I've got these Peak Design travel cubes or packing cubes, which are my right now my go-to favorite. So we got that one, and we've got this a uh, bigger one with some just some t-shirts and some bigger items uh, on that side. And then the dop kit. So that's pretty much it that's in there right now. Um, you know, you're in terms of a single bag travel, having to carry most of the bigger bulky items on you. But now with that stuff removed, we can sort of see the difference on the inside. We've got the shoes over here. We've got the, the boarding kit over here. Um, and one thing that I didn't talk about yet, we've got internal pockets as well. We've got internal pockets on both sides. Now, for some reason, um, this is on the one side is a big open pocket. Maybe put your socks and underwear on one side. This is a rip stop pocket. On the other side is a mesh pocket. So you, this side allows you to, and it's stretchy, put some other stuff in there. So really, when you're talking about single bag travel, probably gonna not use as many packing cubes. I'm gonna pack in the side bags and then other stuff in packing cubes to keep it segmented, the stuff I'm gonna remove. But other than that, that's what's on the inside. So do love the inside of this bag. Gray, so you're not gonna lose some of those things in the bottom and the black on the top. So let's pack it all up and really talk about the boarding kit. All right, so here we are. <clears throat> boarding kit so um single bag travel and what you know if i do two bags what normally happens is the duffel goes in the overhead my backpack goes in front of me that's just the way i kind of work uh and what's in the backpack is all the electronic stuff that i'm going to need on the airplane or if i'm in a car put it at my feet stuff that i'm going to use while i'm on the on the go assuming i'm not driving but in the airplane um similar methodology with this, but it's single bag. So this one is a little bit tall, depending on the airplane, may not fit in front of you. Probably gonna wanna put it in the overhead, give yourself some leg room. Uh, so you put it in the overhead and then while you're in your seat, you're gonna need a few things. So that's where this boarding kit comes in. So you remove it and then you zip this sucker up, button it back up and then put it in the overhead. So this is out of the way don't need it anymore. Uh, and so this is in the overhead. So here you are in your seat with the boarding kit. Um, big enough for, like I said, an iPad mini. They've got a sleeve in the back. That's the iPad mini, perfect. And then there's really room for a whole bunch of other things. You can probably put two iPad minis, maybe put your Kindle in there, uh, put a Kindle somewhere else, but you got tons of room uh, to put that stuff in the, in the back. And then you've got a front pocket, maybe a couple of uh, snacks, emergency snacks, in case you don't like the Biscoff cookies or the Sun Chips or whatever they're giving you in the front. And then the main compartment opens to reveal plenty of more organization for all your stuff. In this case, I've got my Bose headset in there because I will use the AirPods short flights. But if I'm going long distance, I want a little more over the ear coverage and something uh, that's not gonna drain the AirPods because I'll use those whenever I get to my destination. So um, sleep mask in here, uh, and then we've got some charging cords. Again, room for your Kindle in the back here or a taller item. There's another sleeve back here. That's where I put the Kindle this time. So you got the you know, Kindle here, maybe some other papers, uh, boarding documents, hotel confirmation. Do you, I mean, if you're gonna print stuff out, maybe put stuff in there, fold it in half and fit back there. Then you got this little stretchy pocket with where I put both my wallet, this Axwell wallet and my AirPods. And generally speaking, when I go to the airplane, I kind of, I tend to want to remove everything out of my pockets and I take all my pocket stuff and put it here. Uh, and maybe that front area is where it was spread for my cell phone. So cell phone, other pocket stuff. And then I don't have to worry about stuff flying out and losing things. It's all kind of self-contained. Charging cords to charge Apple stuff when I'm in the airplane. So that's what's in here. So again, I just like this design. This is a, uh, you know, mostly international uh, travel, but for somebody else, I like the boarding kit. Um, just as a nice design to it. And I really do love it. And I can't wait. You know, this is one of those bags 
you get it and you immediately want to go somewhere. Uh, and that's where I am with this one. I just immediately want to go somewhere. Um, but I don't have anything planned for the next couple weeks. So looking forward to getting this one out. So there we go back together. Now you're leaving the airplane and you're going to attack the city with backpack mode. So there you go. Totally love the decks. This one's 30 liters. Like I've said, they've got a 45 if you want to go big. Single bag travel, totally awesome. Highly recommend. Can't wait to get this thing on the road. I think it looks awesome. And the total uh, accessibility features for single bag travel, I think would be awesome with this one. Anyway, travel focused video. If you like this video, got some value out of it, found something that you might use, then definitely give it a thumbs up. Those little thumbs ups help uh, this video get seen by more people. So I really appreciate it. Just a little click, thumbs up. Um, subscribe to the channel. You're not gonna miss some of the other stuff I got coming out. I got some uh, new GORUCK stuff uh, on the horizon and uh, Able Carry stuff coming that I've just been using and abusing. Wanted to give you a, an honest reaction before I told you all about some of those things. So more of that in the next couple of weeks. So subscribe, sign up for alerts, see you in the next video, get outside while you can. It's really gonna be warm and nice today. So we're gonna get outside. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. All right, duffel bags. I've done videos before on both the kit bag from Goruck and this X11 duffel from 1733.